Ta-Nehisi Coates is an extraordinary and powerful voice. He's been writing about the black experience for more than a decade now. He's the groundbreaking author of four books, as well as pinning popular Black Panther comic books. In all, he pulls back the curtain on struggles black people face simply growing up in America. His powerful writings have earned him a National Book Award, as well as the so-called Genius Grant from the MacArthur Foundation. What's it like having so much good happening to ta Coates during these extraordinary times? I'm pleased, but um, I live in a city that was mere months ago, you know, the epicenter of, of a pandemic. I would much take um, no pandemic, George Floyd still alive, Breonna Taylor still alive. Yeah. I'll always have things to write about. In 2015, Coates published Between the World and Me, now an HBO movie set to premiere this weekend. It is a breathtaking letter to his then 15-year-old son about growing up black in America, the dangers, the fears, the unrealized dreams. The book has been recommended by President Obama and Nobel Prize winner Toni Morrison called it required reading. You recognize the influence that it had on society and especially people that look like me and you, people yeah, yeah. who are rearing young black men yes. um, in America. I, I recognize that it was well read. I do recognize, I can, I can see that. But, you you, but you, I get the sense that maybe you don't think it was as, as impactful as it I was. Just, I mean, I think it takes time to judge that. You know what I mean? Well, we'll see, I hope so. Struggle for your grandmother and grandfather. The HBO adaptation features a truly remarkable cast of performers and activists. When you saw it come to life mm -hmm. in the HBO film, what did you think? It's an ensemble experience. It's a much more collective experience. Um, one of the cool things about it is it means something when I write it a certain way, but when Angela Davis says it, it has a different level of meaning. When Felicia Rashad says it, it has a, there's something else that they obviously bring. One of the things that's, uh, that's always stayed with me from the book is this line that you wrote. You wrote, you never thought it would be okay. You still believe that five years later? Yes, yes, very much so. Um, and the thing I, I try to get people to is, so, you know, I was born in 1975, you know, born and raised in West Baltimore. So when I think about Baltimore, I think about Baltimore being, like, violent. Like, I think about the violence. I think about, like, walking outside and always, you know, head on the swivel, watch out. You know what I mean? Even when you're not in the environment, the, the, the lives of, of, of black people, you know, are, are just different. You know what I mean? You feel yourself um, vulnerable. There's this kind of hyper-awareness um, that was really intense within the community in which I was raised and perhaps is less intense now or was less intense when I went out in the world, but um, the same basic rules were there. Does that make sense? No, it does. Well, yes. To me, it makes complete sense. This, but this hyper-awareness that you're talking about, with all that's happened in our country this year, do you think that this is, this is finally the year where more people get that? More people understand that? Oh, I think more people get that something different is happening. It's very hard to, you know, watch a man um, be tortured to death for seven, eight minutes and say, eh. You know, I guess that's a hard thing to do. What role should writers and thinkers like yourself, what role should they play? I have always thought of my job is as looking out on the complexity, the, the, the tangled mess of the world, and trying to divine some sort of order or clarity. I always saw my job as to, you know, illuminate. I asked him what he hoped that his writing accomplished. I mean, he books and essays and screenplays, and he said anytime he writes something, he wants it to haunt you. Mm -hmm. He wants you to wake up the next morning mm. and think about whatever you've read, whether it's something related to race or politics. But... We'll have more coming up in the third hour of my conversation uh, with Mr. Coates, including um, his thoughts on the loss of his friend. He went to Howard with Chadwick Boseman as well. Mm -hmm. went, uh, went to Howard with the Black Panther. We'll talk about that and why he is not on social media. He comes off a bit as a Luddite, um, but he explains why he is a Luddite. And we talk about the evils of social media. So it's a fascinating conversation. Oh, that's Very pretty cool. sensible to me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, the uh, premiere of the Between the World and Me, Saturday night, HBO and HBO Max. Right, Thanks, Greg. Mm -hmm.